good morning dear students today we will be continuing with the lesson the isher and the storyteller okay so in this story we have in last session we have seen how he describes an act that is done by himself okay so when a rock elephant was there in the school uh, campus how he managed to uh, bring it uh, under under control okay so he took the cane from the one of the teachers and went down and moved towards the elephant and the elephant was trying to charge him charge at him but it uh, it was reluctant and uh, then uh, he just uh, bet very walked okay forcefully he bet on the uh, third toe nail of the uh, elephant and the elephant collapsed and fell down i and he tells that it took almost 3 days to uh, let uh, get the elephant back into normality so the veterinary doctor was called and he, he tells that uh, the and uh, then he will stop the story there leaving a lot of suspense he just stop the story there and he that brings narendra into some kind of confusion okay some kind of uh, uneasiness is brought into the into the mind of uh, narendra narendra is this uh, ask uh, has to ask him okay so it's it will be it will appear like seem like as if uh, Isher is not at all interested in continuing with the story. As if he has forgotten the story, the the context in which he has stopped the story, and Narendra has to remind him. Okay, then what happened? Okay, so then uh, he tells the continuous story. It is something like uh, a, a martial arts that is uh, existing in Jap Japan, the jujitsu, and uh, just something like karate. And it is actually, as I told you, jujitsu is a martial art which has got Uh, upper hand over uh, people who are uh, big in size okay the small people big people has got upper hand over uh, strong people so that is jiu jitsu and then uh, so this is what this is how just he tells the story okay so leaves a lot of suspense because that has become part of his uh, storytelling from because he is very commonly in uh, commonly he reads the stories that are uh, thrilling okay so and he is always taken into the thrall of that okay control of it okay so we will just uh, continue not a day passed without isheran recounting some story packed with adventure okay so it was a kind of uh, past time for whom narendra okay narendra had some kind of past time because this uh, isheran told a lot of stories one after another so if almost every day okay so not in a past means almost every day without issue and recounting some story packed with adventure horror and suspense so all these things uh, spices should be there in in his narration whether the story was credible or not so credible me credibility means what authentic okay credible authentic authentic means original so whether it has taken place or not that doesn't bother okay then stories that are narrated by isheran will have uh, the horror part will be there horror fraction will be there then suspense will be there adventure also will be there so almost these uh, spices were there in ingredients were there in his stories so mahendra enjoyed listening to it because uh, because of the inimitable way in which it was told okay so he was a super narrator okay that is why narendra liked it whether it was true or not that doesn't matter for uh, mahendra because the way he presents okay the story was something very attractive very very special special mode of narration was there so that is why it was attracted by inimitable means that cannot be imitated inimitable means cannot be imitated mm-hmm. 
so beyond imitation so that is inimitable so and uh, isurans seem to uh, seem to more than make up for the absence of a tv in mahendra's living quarters so since mahendra used to move from place to place uh, he should have some kind of entertainment means for entertainment so it is impossible for uh, mahendra to carry all these things because he had to shift from place to place so he carries all his little things and for him tv tv at that time tv was a huge thing that cannot be carried so easily so therefore uh, that was uh, something that he avoided from the from from people who were moving from place to place so mahendra was belonging to such kind of uh, such group of people so therefore what did he do he just um, uh, ishwaran replaced a kind of it means a kind of entertainment ishwaran was a kind of entertainment a regular entertainment without his um, without any effort he he could easily get entertained mahendra could get easily entertained because of the presence of ishwaran so uh, one morning so he just uh, the narration just continues one morning when mahendra was having breakfast ishwaran asked can i make something special for dinner tonight okay so ishwaran so he wanted to give this uh, new a kind of um a surprise maybe a surprise so can i make something very special after all today is an auspicious day okay auspicious means very special okay auspicious very special so he tells that it is today is very special and auspicious day according to tradition we prepare various del- delicacies to feed the spirits of our ancestors today sir so what we say, say um, shivaratri something like that okay so maybe something uh, related to that so we just uh, give respect uh, to the to our ancestors spirits of our ancestors so something like that and uh, that day had something very special and uh, that is why ishwarni is asking makendra whether uh, he could prepare something very special for uh, that night so because it was an auspicious day and that was a day which is uh, in which according to tradition according to the tradition the way people follow we prepare various delicacies delicacies are uh, sweets okay sweet uh, items to feed the spirits of our ancestors today sir so that is why he asked makendra whether he could prepare something very special that night mahendra enjoyed the most deli- uh, delicious dinner and complimented ishwaran on his uh, culinary skills culinary skills means the cooking skill okay culinary okay so culinary cooking related to knife cooking uh, the cutting knife etc that is called as culinary so something that is related to kitchen so uh, delicious very very sweet okay so it was very very uh, good okay that gave a kind of uh, and complimented is certain on his culinary skills so he was very happy mahendra was very happy and he just gave some kind of high words about his uh, works uh, food preparation he seemed very pleased but okay so he was ishwaran was so happy but unexpectedly uh, launched into a most garish account involving the spiritual uh, supernatural okay so most garish means something very horrible account of. horrible garish means very horrible account of uh, uh, account involving the supernatural what is it means supernatural natural are uh, things that are living on this nature okay it means like all almost all the living things supernatural as are spirits okay especially that cannot that do not have anything to do with this earth okay mostly they we say that the super things that are supernatural they don't touch on the ground they are living in the uh, the uh, sphere atmosphere so that is what supernatural so something that is elevated from the nature okay something above the nature so that is why we call it as supernatural so spirits and other things are something of that okay so that is not belonging to that which is not uh, that which doesn't belong to nature that is supernatural so he just started launched means reached into 
okay an account that is horrible account of of a supernatural things came into his uh, into his description why because that was that was very commonly um, a pastime for mahendra so he used to narrate things and one day after this particular day he just brought a story about uh, supernatural things okay so he he just starts and narendra sorry uh, isuran starts his story okay you know sir this entire factory area where uh, we are occupying okay just so this uh, entire factory area we are occupying uh, was once a burial ground you know what is a burial ground a, what we call it as a place where the dead bodies are buried okay burned okay so that is called as a bury uh, means uh, put in uh, under under the under a dig a uh, dig okay digging the earth and putting the burying the bodies called as burial uh, burial and that is it is a burial ground okay where this company is situated is a burial ground once it was a burial ground he started mahendra was uh, jerked out of a out of the pleasant uh, river he had drifted into after the satisfying me so it was something very unpleasant for okay, so just imagine uh, we we may not have uh, trouble uh, until we know some truth okay so something it may be something like this you might be passing through some place and you happen to uh, go across a cross an area and you felt that your leg has uh, um, leg has gone down into the uh, into the mud to uh, need it okay suppose it happens and you, you go ahead and you don't feel much uh, difficulty about it you go ahead and uh, just after a few days you come to know that uh, it was a place where a person was buried if you come to know what will be the shock that you have okay if you know know it and you ha- your uh, leg happened to go deep into the knee, knee level in that ground and you know that a body was buried there naturally you will be you will get frightened you will become panic okay so this is something that is happening here in the case of mahendra too okay so what happens to mahendra mahendra just uh, did not know the truth that it was it was say it was a burial ground so he just uh, he get he lose all kinds of pleasure that he had uh, got when he had the samanchus uh, d- uh, dinner okay so so this uh, he says uh, so he started uh, uh, the factory area we are occupying was once a burial ground he started mahendra was jerked out of the pleasant river river what is in by river a um, a day dream river is actually a day dream thinking about pleasant things okay so that is called as a river okay good memories we can say another words we can say river is uh, pleasant thoughts we can say okay pleasant thoughts uh, that 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 just give some kind of joy for our mind okay pleasant thoughts okay so when he said he jumped out of this river happy thoughts okay he had drifted into after drifted means what he was moving with flowing with okay after the good meal so he was just thinking about the day the good things that had happened on that particular day so he was thinking about it and he was very happy about it okay and at that time he was jerked he just came out of it uh, with with a with a shake good shake that is jerking i knew on the first day itself when i saw a human skull lying on the path i isrant continues i knew that this is uh, true this is a burial ground because on the first day itself i could see that there was a human skull even now i c- come across a number of skulls and bones isuran continued oh, as i go out and come back i come across a number of skulls and human bones okay there are there are not decayed so far so he tells that it is uh, it's actually a burial ground and uh, here uh, a number of skulls and bones are seen as he goes out and in a number of bones and skulls are being seen okay so isran continued he went on to narrate how he sometimes sometimes saw ghosts at night okay, that is something beyond okay supernatural 
Okay, seeing a skull and bone is something very common. Whereas, seeing supernatural is, it is not just like the skull and bones. Okay, something, some ghost. Okay, seeing ghost is something dif dif different thing. I am not easily frightened by these things, sir. I am not least bothered about these things. I have the courage to face these supernatural things, ghosts and other things. I am not bothered about these things. So, he continues, uh, the aunt. Uh, who is listening to it? Mahendra is listening to it. I am a brave fellow. Okay, I am a courageous. Brave means courageous. Okay, I am a courageous fellow. So therefore, I am I am not least bothered about these things. Okay, skulls doesn't matter me, bones, human skull and bone doesn't, uh, uh, do, do not matter me. And also, uh, even the ghosts are something that doesn't uh, come to, uh, that doesn't disturb me. Okay, so even ghosts. But one horrible ghost of a woman which appears off and on at midnight during the full moon. Okay, so I am not bothered about it, but at night, some nights I find some horrible uh, one particular horrible um, uh, ghost. Okay, what is its speciality? Okay, which appears off, off and on very, very frequently. It comes at midnight during full moon. Okay, it comes. It appears at full moon. Full moon day it appears. It is an ugly creature. Okay, what is its, what is its speciality? It is an ugly, not ugly means not good looking. Okay, bad looking. Okay, not at all beautiful. Okay, not, not at all beautiful to see. So it is an ugly looking creature. An ugly looking creature with mated hair. What is it? Mated? Mated means? Untidy. Untamed. So untidy and kempt, these are the meanings of uh, matted okay so in the woman so unable to get uh, so not 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 combing at all hair and sh shriveled face what is it by shriveled uh, dry and wrinkled face because of all it okay shriveling is actually this is a face with wrinkles here and there so that is actually a, a symbol of uh, old okay With the naked hair. So this ghost had something very special. It was with naked hair and unkempt hair and with wrinkles on the face. Okay, so this is the speciality of this particular. Uh, okay, so naked and that was the special. That is the speciality. Shivalda means dry and wrinkled. Dry and wrinkled uh, old because of old age. Like a skeleton holding a fetus in its arm. Okay, fetus is actually a, a newborn baby. A dead newborn baby is being held in the arms of this ghost. Okay, ugly creature to see. Okay, so it uh, see the description is very, very horrible actually. Okay, a ghost which is walking with a small uh, child, unborn uh, child. Uh, born a newborn ch child in its arm. Okay, a dead a newborn child in its arm. Okay, Mahendra shivered at the description and interrupted rather sharply. Okay, so we we ourselves feel so so crazy about it. Okay, so Mahendra was unable to uh, unable to un uh, listen to this story. So therefore, he just said, "Stop." Okay, you are crazy, student. Okay, he is getting angry because he never expected that such kind of narration will be taken. 
So the previous narrations were so wonderful, but now he finds the narration is so horrible. Okay, it's beyond imagination. So therefore he just interrupts and stops Iswaran. You are crazy, Iswaran. Don't tell these kinds of stories. Okay, he says, Okay, he just tells you are crazy, you are mad. You stop telling these kinds of stories. Okay, so he tells there is no such thing in, in uh, as ghost or spirit. You are just crazy. You are mad, and you say there is no such thing as uh, uh, spirits or ghosts. Okay, it is all a figment of our imagination. Figment means a, a piece, a figment, a colorful, a colorful. Okay, so figment is uh, something that is uh, created. Partially created image by mind. Okay, it is something a figment, it is something that our mind uh, uh, created by our own mind. Okay, so there is no such thing like ghost. It is a figment of your imagination. Get your uh, digestive system examined. Okay, you, your stomach may be in trouble. Okay, it is your your imagination is uh, a piece, a, a productive imagination of your. Uh, so you check your digestive system. Okay, you don't have you you do not have proper uh, digestive mechanism may not be functioning pro properly. So you just check it. Okay, digestive system examined and maybe your head as well. You check your body, make a thorough checkup with your body as well as your mind. Okay, you may be wrong in your mind also. So you shouldn't be uh, sorry. Uh, uh, Mahendra became so nervous and he started uh, fighting with uh, arguing with uh, Ishwari. See how he is doing. You are talking nonsense, Ishwaran. He continued. So, see this man, Mahendra, so far, who was very pacified, uh, uh, talking very, very politely with Ishwaran, now started uh, talking very uh, without any mercy. He just continued. Uh, what all things? You are mad, crazy, you are mad. So, he thinks there is no such thing as uh, ghost and spirit. Uh, it is your imagination that is what makes it clear, uh, appear these kinds of things. And you, it is better that you go and check up your body as well as your brain. Okay, so he, uh, he told Ishwaran, Mahendra tells Ishwaran uh, like this, and you are talking nonsense. Okay, you idiot. You don't talk, you are just talking some kind of uh, idiocy. Okay, he just turns. He left the room and retired for night, expecting Ishwaran to sulk for a couple of days. What is it by sulking? Sulk is actually angry, refusing to speak. So this is what he did. He just um, avoided, he wanted to avoid his children willing, willfully. So he sulked for a couple of days. Okay, so he left the room and retired for the night. So it was uh, some horrible narration that uh, he suddenly had made. Okay, so and then, but the next morning he was surprised to find the cook asked here for last pity. Actually, uh, Mahendra thought that for for few days he is not going to talk with Israel. Okay, because he has given he has made such a uh, worse narration. So they, uh, he thought that he will just avoid Ishwaran and he may not be talking with Ishwaran. But next day morning, Ishwaran came in front of uh, Mahendra, very cheerful, okay, with uh, breakfast and uh, coffee. He came very cheerfully, he was there in front of. Okay, so, uh, but next morning he was surprised to find the cook as cheerful, as talkative as ever. So he just, he was very normal. Ishwaran was behaving very norm normally. From that day on, Mahendra, uh, Mahendra, for all his brave talk, went to bed. Uh, brave talk went to bed without a with a, with a certain unease. Unease. So till then, Mahendra did not know this place where they are staying. Where was a uh, place they stay, uh, stay was a burial ground. But now on. 
Mahendra had some kind of fear in his his mind. Okay, some kind of uneasiness was there in his mind. Okay, see how it is a small description made by Isuran, but how it has um, caused an effect in the mind of Mahendra. That is what we we want to uh, we see here. Okay, so Mahendra had some kind of uneasiness almost every 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 night as he goes to his bed. Okay, see how he is be uh, troubled. Troubled. Okay, so a small uh, imagination, imaginative uh, speaking that has been made by Isuran has caused very badly, by, uh, has caused a bad impact upon the mind of Mahendra. See, and uh, we will we, uh, in the coming we will see what what exactly he sees whether. is you and told the true story or something means that you will see in the in the coming in the next class and you see uh, iswaran is uh, whether iswaran is actually true or uh, mahendra is true uh, that we will be able to see in the next class okay the narration is actually going or something is uh, uh, very strange is going to take place in the life of mr uh, mahendra okay so and uh, how he is he how he react to isuran at that time it is something very that we will see in the coming class i hope that you are doing your work in time you for watching the videos and uh, try to update yourself okay so in the next after this we will have some uh, grammar as well as some figures of speech will be discussed in the class and that will be helpful for to get some marks for your examination also so it will give you some kind of some kind of uh, um, taste for the literature okay when you learn about the figures of speech the different figures of speech used in the uh, in literature so we will just see that in the coming class too okay so we all ears when you are there watching this uh, video okay and also uh, new words are described here we take out this the word meanings at some drawings are also there horrible drawings you don't get frightened okay this drawings may be even fright make give you more fright than the the real fright that is given by isuran okay so therefore uh, enjoy the videos and try to uh, learn better okay thank you very much